In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Blessed be Jesus, who showed a special love for children and young people. May His grace and peace be with you all. And with your spirit. Coming together as God's family on this feast of the Santo Nino, let us ask the Lord's forgiveness that we may offer this Eucharist with a purified heart. Lord Jesus, your kingdom is universal and forever peaceful. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you came to share the frailty of our human nature. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you want the children and youth to come close to you. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty God, your only Son, begotten from all ages, humbled himself as a child in Nazareth and became subject to Mary and Joseph. Grant that we may learn from his example to embrace your will in all things and holding fast to the dignity of all. Serve our lowly brothers and sisters with open hands and gentle heart. We ask this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. The oracle we are about to hear proclaimed is a prophecy about a mysterious child, the Messiah who brings the light of God's love into the world darkened by sin. A proclamation from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The people who walk in darkness have seen a great light upon those who dwell in the land of gloom a light has shone. You have brought them abundant joy and great rejoicing as they rejoice before you as at the harvest, as people make merry when dividing spoils. For the yoke that burdened them, the pole on their shoulder, and the rod of their taskmaster, you have smashed, as on the day of Midian. For every boot the trump in battle, every clock rolled in blood, will be burned as fuel for flames. For a child is born to us, a son is given us. Upon his shoulder, dominion rests. They name him Wonder Counselor, God Hero, Father Forever, Prince of Peace. His dominion is vast and forever peaceful. He will rule as David's successor, bashing his power on right and justice for now until the end of time. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In this prayer of praise and petition, Paul expresses some of the most consoling truths of our faith. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavens, as He chose us in Him before the foundation of the world to be holy and without blemish before Him. In love, he destined us for adoption to himself through Jesus Christ, in accord with the favor of his will, for the praise of the glory of his grace that he granted us in the Beloved. Therefore, I too, hearing of your faith in the Lord Jesus and of your love, for all the holy ones, 
do not cease giving thanks for you, remembering you in my prayers. May the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, give you a spirit of wisdom and revelation, resulting in knowledge of Him. May the eyes of your hearts be enlightened, that you may know what is the hope that belongs to His call. What are the riches of glory in His inheritance among the Holy Ones? The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. The Word became flesh and made His dwelling among us. Anyone who did accept Him, He empowered to become children of God. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, the disciples approached Jesus and said, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? He called a child over, placed it in their midst, and said, Amen, I say to you, unless you turn and become like children, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. Whoever humbles himself like this child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. And whoever receives one child such as this in my name receives me. Whoever causes one of these little ones who believe in me to sing, it would be better for him to have a great millstone hung around his neck and to be drowned in the depths of the sea. See that you do not despise one of these little ones, for I say to you that their angels in heaven always look upon the face of my heavenly Father. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umaga po at maligayang pagdating dito sa Minor Basilica of Our Lady of Manawar. Minsan po may isang lola at habang nananalamin yung isang lola, nakita niya ang dami na pala niyang wrinkles sa mukha. May mga lines na. Kaya iniisip niya, hindi ito maaari. Kaya ginawa ng isang lola, pumunta siya sa isang beauty salon. Nang nagtanong siya sa uh, receptionist, Miss, ano ba ang pwedeng gawin para matanggal lahat ng wrinkles ko sa mukha? Siyempre, maligalig yung receptionist. Ay, ma'am, meron po tayong mga procedures para dyan. Pwede po nating ipabanat yan, ma'am. Natuwa yung ali. Sige, magkano ba ang bayad doon? 10,000 po. Aba, mahal pala, sabi ng matanda. Pwede bang may iba pa bang ano? Sabi ng receptionist. Meron pa po. Pwede din po yung ipabotox, ma'am. Ay, sige. Magkano ba yun? 15,000 po. Naku, mas mahal pala. Mas lalong hindi ko ma-avail yan. Wala na bang iba? Yung mura lang. Kaya sabi ng receptionist, meron pa pong mura, ma'am. 20 pesos lang po. Sabi ng ali, o sige, yun na lang. Yun na lang yung i-avail ko. So nagbayad siya ng 20, tapos binigyan siya ng receptionist 
Dahil sa kagustuhan niyang maging bata, binigyan siya ng cupon. Ayan po ma'am, pwede po kayong magmukhang bata sa cupon. Kaya paglabas niya ng salon, tangay-tangay ng kanyang bibig ang cupon. Mukha na po siyang bata. Today is the feast of Santo Nino. And this gospel reminds us na ang mga bata, bawat isa sa kanila ay may special place sa langit. Actually, pag-aari po nila yung langit. Taga dun po ang mga bata. Ang sabi nga, yung mga bata, they have easy access to heaven. Pag sila namatay, diretso sa langit. Kung tayo namatay, mukhang marami pa po tayong pagdadaanan bago makarating sa langit. Yung mga bata po, pure. Hindi nag-iisip ng masama. Hindi manggugulang. Inosente. Dependent. Alam mo po sa ating pamilya, pag may bagong sanggol, lahat tayo na matatanda na nakukuha ang kanilang atensyon. Lahat tayo pagpasok ng bahay, nasa na yung baby? Natutuwa tayo sa mga bata. Bawat galaw tinitingnan, hindi iniiwan. Binabantayan, baka umiyak na. Gutom na yung bata. Kahit sa pamilya natin, special na yung atensyon na nakukuha ng mga bata. Lalong-lalo na po sa langit. Ganon din po yung atensyon o mas higit pa ang atensyon na binibigay ng langit para po sa mga bata. Kung kaya naman, pag may gagawin tayong hindi maganda sa mga bata, automatic, nakikita agad ng langit ang hindi magagandang ginagawa natin sa mga bata. Minsan may napangunod pa nga akong video sa internet. Mag-isa lang siyang nanay, may mga bata siya. Minsan inutusan niya yung aso niya, dito ka lang, bantayan mo yung mga bata. May bibilhin lang ako sa labas. Ni aso nga, magbabantay sa mga bata. Pure, innocent, dependent. Katangian po ng mga bata kung kaya meron po silang special na atensyon sa langit. Minsan naisip po rin yung itsura ng tsupon. Siguro po pamilyar tayong lahat. Bakit ganun yung itsura ng tsupon? Kasi ugali ng mga bata, gusto nilang kunin lahat. Gusto nilang kainin lahat. Hindi nila iniisip kung ano yon. Pero yung isang bilog na manipis na yon, yun yung pipigil para hindi nila malunon yung maliit na bagay na kanilang kinakain. Even that simple thing, no, intelligently made to protect the child. Kailangan pong bantayan ang mga bata. Brothers and sisters, we too are children of God. Siyempre, gusto rin po natin makapasok sa langit. E yun nga lang, hindi po natin kailangan maging isip bata. Kailangan lang po natin gayahin kung ano yung qualities na meron yung mga bata para makuha din nila yung atensyon, special na atensyon ng langit. To be innocent, dependent. Nawa po ngayong kapistahan ng Santo Nino, patuloy po nating pangalagaan ang mga bata kahit na po tayong mga matatanda para magkaroon din po tayo ng easy access sa kaharian ng Diyos. Magsitayo po tayo. Let us now profess our faith. I believe in one God. The Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible, I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, 
light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, catholic, and apostolic church forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. As we honor the Santo Nino, let us turn our attention to our children and youth and pray for all their needs, saying, Lord, graciously hear us. Lord, graciously hear us, that the whole church under the leadership of the Holy Father, our bishop and priest, may always show a special practical love for our children and youth. Let us pray. Lord, graciously hear us. That all teachers and the media may help our children and youth imbibe authentic values and motivate them to live by such values. Let us pray. Lord, graciously hear us that the children and youth of our nation may grow in dedication, purity, and honesty, treasuring and practicing their Catholic faith. Let us pray. Lord, graciously hear us. That all parents may care for their children and bring them as upright citizens and zealous members of the Church. Let us pray. Lord, graciously hear us that all the devotees of the Santo Nino may persevere in their efforts to grow in love of God and neighbor. Let us pray. Lord, graciously hear us. Let us pray in silence for our personal intentions. Let us pray. Lord, graciously hear us. Lord, grant us a dedicated concern for the children and the youth of today. May we work for their total welfare, for love of you, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray 
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy Church. God our Creator, we offer the gifts of bread and wine to recall the childhood of your only Son. Let our offering become the sacrifice of Him who brought forgiveness and peace to the world. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For in the feast of this off-field mystery, the visible, the invisible in his own divine nature, he, he has, appear, a, he has a, appeared visibly in ours and begotten before all ages. He has begun to exist in time, so that raising up in himself all that was cast down, he might restore unity to all creation and call straying humanity back to the heavenly kingdom. And so with all the angels, we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, O Lord, the Father of all holiness. And all you have created, you are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving thanks, he said a blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he said a blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. 
do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Socrates our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Please stand. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Paalala po sa lahat, sa inyong pagtanggap ng communion, bago po humarap, pakibaba na po ang face mask. Kapag sinabi sa inyo, Body of Christ, tanggapin ng inyong dalawang kamay ang hostia at sumagot ng Amen. At isubo na agad ang hostia. Huwag po ninyong isubo habang naglalakad at lalong huwag dalhin sa upuan ng hostia upang maiwasan po ang pagkahulog nito. Salamat po. Please stand. Let us pray. This is the Lord Je Jesus, the model of our children and youth. He is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin. Sorry. Loving Father, you have nourished us at the banquet in honor of the children born of the Virgin. We pray that we may advance in wisdom and grow daily in faith and works of love, 
so that we may find favor in your sight. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pagdalo sa ating banal na misa. Mag-ingat po tayo sa ating pag-uwi. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May God enable you to appreciate the importance of our children and youth for the life of the church and society. Amen. May He make you His privileged instruments in promoting the welfare and growth of the young people in our country. Amen. May He reward with eternal life your efforts to edify the young generation with your good example. Amen. And may the Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Ngayon po, ipagdasal din natin yung mga may sakit at yung mga mahal sa buhay natin na may sakit na wala po dito. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Feed them from all illness and restore them to good health. Through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for the blessing of rosaries and other religious articles. Pag-ilabas po kung meron kayong mga dala. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, May these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.